Since the launch of the Nissi V7 filter holder, the main question I've been asked is, is it worth upgrading? To answer this, I took some time to use the new holder and test it against the V6, which I've been using for the past two and a bit years. Now, if you're wondering who I am, this guy on the internet, my name's Ryan Fowler and I've been working as a landscape and travel photographer for the past six years and a long time user of Nissi filters. I even created an entire series of how and when to use different filters that I'll link at the card at the end of the video. So make sure you stay to the end so you can click on that and find the exact spot. Now I'll start out by saying that if you're still rocking the V5, just go ahead and upgrade. Link is in the description, it's well worth it. If you're a V6 user, like I know many of you watching this would be, you're wondering if it's worth the upgrade. I would be asking myself this same question. Are the new features worth it? How good is the True Color CPL? So let's take a look. Now, first, I'll show you this quick little 23 second introduction to the new features. This is the brand new Nissi V7 filter holder. It's got some awesome new features like the True Color CPL, Nissi's best polarizer yet, plus a quicker and easy way of adding and removing it. It attaches just like a lens hood. A new simplified locking design to make it easier to keep your filters secure. And it comes with everything you'd expect, including the lens cap. Let's break it down a bit. On the V6, one of the little annoyances if sand and grit get caught in the screw threads for the polarizer, making it tricky to take out. Now the new design on here offers a simpler solution to attach and remove as needed. It works like a lens hood with a bayonet mount, which is certainly easy. This change was developed with feedback from customers and landscape photographers in the field that use the V6 and could see a need for adjustment. Now, the 82 mm adapter you attach the CPL to retains a fan favorite feature of being able to work incredibly well with most wide angle lenses. I've been using it with the Canon RF 15 to 35 at 15 mm and it works without vignetting. Now, when you get the holder, you'll also get the lens cap that really helps with keeping your gear stored properly while on the go. These features make the CPL quicker and easier to use. With that, the True Color CPL delivers the most accurate colors in the Nissi system so far. The original polarizer was good, and then when Nissi brought in the landscape CPL, it gave the results photographers were wanting. In this next evolution, the True Color CPL, it gives a completely color neutral effect to help you get the best image in camera. This is one of the real winning features of this iteration in the square filter system. The new polarizer matched with the mounting system Nissi use on the holders to keep the CPL behind your square filters, as well as the side mounted pressure on the filters to keep them in place and avoid scratching, means you're getting a system that has been engineered to make your life as the photographer easier. Now, speaking of the holder, that was a pretty good segue, right? The V6 comes with two side screws, one to attach the holder and the other to screw in and secure it. That was a great feature to have on the holder, but the V7 brings in the next evolution of it. It's created a more unified design and functional design as well to take away the issue of the securing screw coming out in the bag. The new design is far simpler to use and the aesthetics of it make a nicer, just overall look. Now the design was first tested in the 150 mm system S6 holder and the feedback from users was incredibly positive, which is why it has been carried over into the 100 mm system. Having been using it for a month now, I found it quite beneficial and something I'm using more regularly than I did before. The moment I really appreciated the better design was when I was out at night or early morning using the holder. Because there was only one screw to attach and dismount, it was easier for me to recognize by touch the attachment knob rather than the locking screw. Overall, the new design, functionality, and use of the CPL makes this a great addition to your kit. If you're coming from the V5, this is going to be a major upgrade to what you've been used to and well worth doing. If you're already a V6 user, you're going to notice a difference in the attaching and removing process of the CPL and a better rendition of colors as well. Now you won't lose the ability to shoot wide, but you'll gain a simplified process of attaching the holder and securing it. 
Now, I'll let you weigh up the pros and cons and the benefits yourself. But have you experienced some of the little annoyances from the V6? From my testing, the new holder has helped remove mine and I've really been enjoying the new features. Now, links to purchase in Australia and the US are in the uh, description down below. If you found great value in this video, click, tap, or smash the like and subscribe buttons. Remember to click through on the uh, end screen somewhere on here and watch the Nissi Filters How and When to Use series playlist, which I know a lot of people have got really great value from.